everyone, welcome to today's live stream. Welcome to Premiere Basics, a weekly series where we teach you all the ins and outs of Adobe Premiere Pro. My name is Jill, by the way, for those who are new to this live stream. And today we're going to show you how to edit a gaming video. So yeah, what we did was me and some friends, uh, we play Warzone together, Call of Duty Warzone, for those who don't know. And this weekend we did like an hour or one hour and a half of gaming and we've recorded our game sessions. So two of my friends and myself recorded everything from our screen and we're gonna make something cool with it. Also, Jordy played Warzone and he also recorded himself playing the game. He's a little bit frustrated about the game though, but um, yeah, let's see what we can make with all that footage. Um, guys, this is gonna be really interactive, so I'm just gonna go through all of the videos that we've shot. Um, during the play of uh, Call of Duty Warzone. And yeah, let me know what, what we should do with it. Let's make some transitions maybe. Let's do some, I don't know, maybe some memes of it or something like that. I'm not sure entirely how a gaming video is has supposed to look like, but let's just make something really, really cool with it. Of course, we need the highlight moments. So a funny death or a funny kill or whatever, um, like a killing spree where we kill multiple people at once or something. Um, there were some moments that I've recorded that I thought, hmm, this should really be in a video. So let's see what we can do with it. First of all, I'm gonna have a look at the chat right here. Let's see what's going on. Great intro. Well, thanks guys. Uh, as you have seen last week, we have updated our logo. We're completely rebranded just like our YouTube header and also our website. So guys, you can also download um, video packs now from our website. So just head over uh, premierebasics.net and there you can find our tutorials, our Skillshare classes and also the video packs which you can download. So yeah definitely have a look over there. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram. It's just at Premiere Basics. And we, I mean, I try to post weekly videos um, or yeah, um, posts, not really videos, but posts about the tutorials that we make. So it's a quick, a quick uh, guide on how to make a specific effect. I'm trying to upload as much as possible. Um, so yeah. Now it's still one time a week, but let's make it maybe two or three times a week. Let's see guys, how are you all doing? Let's see, how can you sync the words with the sound easier? What do you mean exactly with words and sound? Love the new logo of the channel. Thanks guys, thanks. Um, how can I play Warzone with you? Well, you can add me. Um, normally there is a, uh, wait, I think I made a command for it. I'm not sure which one it was. Let me just look it up real quick. <laughs> um, let's have a look. By the way, guys, I have some G Fuel A's here because that's what the real gamers drink during their live streams and gaming sessions. We also drink it here at work from time to time. So, oops, that's why I uh, also took some G Fuel with me here. Okay, let's see the command, the commands that you can use are, let's see. Uh, oh, it's just exclamation mark game tag. Um, what else do we have? Yeah, just a regular exclamation mark setup and stuff like that. Okay, let's see. I thought the intro was a loop. Well, it was actually. I was looping the intro just in case. Uh, I always do that because if something goes wrong from the beginning, then I can immediately shut everything down here. Um, and that way you don't see me talking with no sound or maybe with some glitchy stuff going on. So that's why I always loop the intro just in case. And if that loops one time, then I'm sure that everything is going well. And then I can start the stream. Let's see. Hey Jill, please trim out the tutorial part from your stream and make it as a video. It's so hard to watch the full stream. Maybe I am going to make a video about this. If we have enough viewers and if everything is going well during this live stream, then we can make a separate video on how to edit a gaming video. 
Um, but it's like, you can do so much with it, you know? You can make, uh, I talked to Lorenzo because he's, I think the biggest gamer of us all here. And there are so many types of gaming videos. So it's literally, literally quite hard to choose um, a specific section of it to make a tutorial about. When are you giving the Premiere Pro shortcuts? Well, that's coming um, hopefully as soon as possible. We're still, still working on the, what's it called? Um, the join button here on the YouTube channel. But um, I'm gonna try and fix this. I'm not gonna promise anything, but I'm gonna try and fix it this week. Okay, guys. So I'm going to open Premiere Pro in the meantime. Uh, I think he means the gameplay video and the sound. Well, we didn't record ourselves during the play um, because it was quite early in the morning. Uh, it was like a morning gaming session that we did. And yeah, I was still uh, in my pajamas and I think my friends were as well. So it wasn't really a suitable um, shot to take of myself. Also, you know, in the morning you're quite I don't know, you have this aura on your face that it's just, it shows that it's morning, you know, that Monday blues. So yeah, uh, I didn't record myself and just recorded the gameplay. However, the gameplay footage of one of my friends has some audio attached to it because we also use Discord while gaming to just talk to each other. Um, but I'm not gonna let it hear to you guys because it's all in Dutch and <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what we were all saying during that game so uh <laughs> let's skip that but we can however find a great song edit to the beat make some transitions with that um so let's go and find some music um what else can we do let's see uh first we're going into premiere by the way i'm gonna show you the footage here we are okay so what I did was I just made a simple shot here. This is the opening of when you're going to play a Battle Royale. And this was, a, I think, a solo play that I did. Um, so I was first inside of the lobby. And then when you click on whatever it's called, start game or whatever, um, this is the loading screen that you get. But I thought that this was actually a cool intro to the video. So I already placed this in here. It starts from a black screen. It fades in, we've got our loading screen. This is also moving in the background. This is actually something that we can create in Premiere Pro. It's just a dip to black or just a fade in that you can make with the opacity tool. Um, and then this is actually probably a PNG overlay and another PNG or your JPEG uh, image on the back. And that background image is probably bigger than the canvas size and you can just position it from left to right uh, over time and that way you can get an animation and that's how you actually get that movement in the background. This is what they also call a parallax kind of thing. It's not entirely a parallax, but it, I mean, you could label it as a parallax. Uh, a parallax, by the way, is like, for example, when you're in a moving car and you look outside, then the um, background mountain, so way in the back, will move quite slow, but the um, bushes next to the street are going super fast. So everything is moving next to the car, but one thing is going really slow and one thing is going really fast. That's the perception of the eye. And that's what we call a parallax. Wait, parallax effect. So yeah, okay, let's see. I've uh, already created an adjustment layer and I've placed it here so that I can make a transition from this to some gaming footage. Now let's go to our rushes. I'm gonna close these. Uh, let's go to the editing workspace actually. Here we are, let's enlarge this. Can you guys still see? Yes, okay. What game were you playing? Uh, Call of Duty Warzone. Uh, I actually played a solo Battle Royale in Verdansk and then we did a quad or trio, I'm not sure, in Rebirth Ireland or in Resurgence, whatever it's called. And then Jordy here, he also did some solos and duos in Rebirth Island. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure what kind of footage Jordy has because I wasn't playing along with him. But I do know that I have got some shots right here. This is from my friend Nathan. He also shot this in 60 FPS, so that's cool. We can use some slow motion from those footages. 
Um, let's see. I hope it goes quite fast, but it could be going quite slow. Oh, no, it's going quite fast. Okay, that's nice. And then my friend Arnold, he also played, but he recorded this on OBS, as you can see. Um, but this has got some lag, I have noticed. And it also has the audio of us talking. But let's see, maybe this one has a little bit less lag. Mm, it's quite jittery, but we can see, maybe we can do something with it. This is my footage, by the way, so let's open this up first. Um, so what I wanted to make maybe is kind of a, a gameplay of my best and worst moments during these um, gaming sessions. So um, yeah, let's start off with just me in a, wait, where is the, oh, here it is, the view mode. I think this was me in a solo battle royale. Yes, it was, okay. Okay, do you guys hear the audio? No, you guys don't hear it, that's nice. So we can go through all this footage, but I'm just gonna scroll through it quite fast. Um, until I find a kill. I think I killed someone with that crossbow right here. Oh, right here, okay. Whoops. Wrong button. Where was it? Oh, here. Let's place an endpoint. Like this, maybe. Okay, so let's put it in here. I think it's not in 4K. No, and I'm editing in 4K. So I'm just gonna hit S. Um, as you guys know, S on my keyboard is the scale to frame size, which you can actually find by right clicking on here. Normally S is the snap and timeline tool, but I never use this. So I linked S to the scale to frame size. That way I can easily swap between this. Now let's see, maybe I want something like um, a blood screen or something when I kill someone here. That was actually a funny kill. It was probably AFK, away from keyboard. So I'm gonna take my adjustment layer here. I'm gonna duplicate it by holding Alt while dragging. And then I'm going to my effects and I'm gonna, oh, and I'm gonna look for the color balance RGB effect, which is this one. Where are my effect controls? They're right here. Whoops. And I need this adjustment layer. I'm gonna lower the greens and the blue so I have a red screen. I'm gonna make it even more red. Oh, maybe not too much. Otherwise those highlights will be blanked like this. Okay. I'm gonna find the center of my adjustment layer. So I think this one was, wait, let's play the marker first. One, two, three, four, five frames on each side. So my effect is gonna be 10 frames, but it's gonna go in for five frames, hold one frame at its maximum property value, and then um, fade out once again in five frames. So that means place a keyframe for every setting here, go to the beginning, just reset them, go to the end. Oh, that's a little bit too far. I'm gonna select this one as well. Come on, man. Where is my effect? Oh, did I? Is it the wrong? Oh, it's this one that I need. Here we go. And one, two, three, but they're not exactly at the end, so I'm gonna position them right over there. Select the first keyframes and go ease out. Select the last ones, ease in, and the middle ones, I'm just gonna auto bezier them. And that way, uh, that gives us a nice smooth curve like this, let's see, bam. Okay, so when we kill someone, we get a red screen. Now maybe I can add some vignetting to that as well. Is there like a vignette? No, then we can just do that with the Lumetri effect. Lumetri, let's see, here it is, Lumetri color, vignette. And I'm just gonna do the exact same, so in the beginning here, we have zero, 
Then at this keyframe right here, I'm gonna give it a really nice black vignette. Minus five, yeah, that's all right. And then here back to zero, place it here, ease out, ease in, and auto bezier. Let's see, bam, okay. So that can be like a thing that we place each time that we kill someone. Uh, maybe we can even put an extra effect on there like to enhance the kill maybe. But let's see what you guys are saying first. Um, let's go a bit back. We are making those hyper edited montages, right? Yeah, we can make something like that. Mm. Do we get a claim strike when using the SFX meme when we post? It all depends, I think, on what song is linked to that meme or something. Uh, let's see. <laughs> you're... <laughs> You should go to sleep because your dad thinks you're editing. Man, you should be editing. Always start editing. Keep on creating. But you can watch this live stream while editing maybe. Like put it on your cell phone or on your monitor just in a small portion of it or something. Bullet fire sync with music tutorial. Yeah, we can do that. Like maybe we can find a song and each time that I shoot, we can place that on the beat. So that's like boom, boom, boom. Maybe something like that. We can do that. I am Dutch. Say something in Dutch, please. Wat wilt je graag dat ik zeg? We zijn momenteel een live tutorial aan het doen. Here we go. <laughs> okay, no problem. But you were just in gaming mode and you're making a tutorial for montage. Yes. Uh, let's see. Tell something about glitch effects. Okay. You guys want glitch effects? Maybe we can use that on the beginning um, adjustment layer here to go from the starting screen to our gameplay, right? So I'm gonna save first. Uh, what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna go to Premiere Basics net. Here we go. Wait, let's see. Can I uh, do it like this? Okay, here we are. PremiereBasics.net. If we go over to Video Packs, we can scroll down. And here we can find actually a glitch transition pack. Here's another one as well. Um, let's take this one maybe. Pack contents. I want a free download. I'm not gonna name a price. And I want this. Your email address. Oh. Those are my private ones, so I'm just gonna put it right here. And what I'm gonna look for is my email address, which is uh, basics.net. And here we are, I got the transition pack. Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys how to use it. So, wait, first I have to extract it. Let me put it in the right folder first. Where is it? It's here, okay. Uh, let's put it here. Right click, extract, here we go. In the meantime, I'm gonna answer some questions. So which video games do you play? Um, mostly Call of Duty Warzone on the PlayStation 4. My friends use a PC. I'm not much of a PC gamer myself. Uh, sometimes I play Assassin's Creed when I um, have a feeling of like going back in history and time. Uh, on my phone I play Pokemon Go from time to time and uh, Hearthstone, but not like every day. And Marvel, something from Marvel. I think it's Marvel Avengers Alliance or something. Um, 
I'm not entirely sure. Not sure. No, can't find it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What should I do when I don't have more ideas, aka when I run out of ideas? Start watching YouTube videos, start watching movies, start watching series, start reading. Um, you can read books, you can read comics, you can read magazines, you can read whatever you want. Go onto Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. Um, yeah, just watch and read a lot and then you can find inspiration and ideas from other people's work. Okay, by the way guys, I have the glitches right here and it's a preset file, so let me show you how to do that. We're gonna go onto presets right here. Uh, have you ever played the GTA games? Yes, Grand Theft Auto, I also played that in the past, not anymore. So we have the presets, right click, import presets, and we're gonna go into the live stream folder uh, it's right here. I want this one. Here it is. And that gives us 20 glitch transitions. Here we are. So let's see. Um, a gentle shake. We want the heavy shake. Yeah, we want the heavy shake. Let's put it on there. Let's see what it does. Woo! Okay, I kind of like that. Damn. That's a nice transition. I think Jordy made that. It's a fast one as well, but that's because our uh, adjustment layer itself is quite short. And then here, maybe we can add a glitch on here as well. Maybe a gentle shake. Yes, that's a nice touch. So we've got the red, we've got the vignetting, and we've also got a kind of a chromatic aberration going on here. Yes, that's nice. I like this. Okay, uh, the thing about gaming videos is that your highlights can be too long. If nothing happens, then don't show it. Like, for instance, we can drag the shot out, and as you can see, I'm just Standing on that rooftop, I see a guy, I don't see him anymore, I jump off the rooftop, the timer is going on, oops, the timer is counting down, I'm gonna try to find that guy, but the game is starting, yeah, all of this doesn't really matter, the only thing important here is that I got my kill, bam, and here we can quit, bam, and then we're gonna go through to the next section. So I start the game. We can do something with this as well, maybe. We can use that cinematic shot. Um, I actually like the shot. Like this. Let's place another transition on there. I'm just gonna duplicate my first adjustment layer, but I'm gonna go into the effect controls and delete the glitch effect. Why is it still on there? Oh, normal. Okay. So, let's see. Maybe we can use another one. Or do you guys have any other requests? What do you guys think? Are we gonna go for another glitch here? Yes, let's do that first. Um, what is this? Static glitch. Yes, maybe that can be cool. Ooh. I like this. I like this. Yeah. Okay, so we go over to this shot, a little bit of cinema. And here, for example, we can like add our gamer tag. So let's do Control T. We're going to make a small motion graphic. Oh, I just wanted to drag it. I'm gonna open up my essential graphics. And I'm gonna go find a new layer. I'm gonna make a rectangle, gonna put that underneath. Let's draw the rectangle. Wait, why? Oh, here it is. Let's make it something like this. I'm gonna give it another color. We're gonna go for something red, maybe. Like dark red, like this. 
And then I'm gonna adjust this. This is gonna be my gamer tag. So it's gonna be B-Boy Marvel 99. Let's put that into another font. Come on, man. I just want to select it like this. Here we go. Okay. Now I want this to come on screen and disappear again. So we're going to find or look for the transform effect. Here it is. Uh, where is it? Oh, here. Let's adjust the shutter angle to 180 degrees. And we are going to um, uncheck this checkbox. And then we can create motion blur with this. So we're going to position. Wait, we don't need the scaling. We just need the positioning. Maybe here, it's OK. And then we're going to make this go off screen. But the transform tool should be here, of course, on top, because it has to go and place the effect on both this and this. So let's make it go off screen. Right click, ease out. Right click, ease in. OK, and it has to go back out. So let's just select this one, Control C, Control V, select the first one, Control C, Control V. Maybe we can place them a little bit earlier in time. And when the plane hits the camera, I'm going to press W, which deletes everything behind my play hat. And then I'm going to go back to my gaming. So I don't want this cinematic screen right here. Um, it's just, you know, I want a little bit of cinema right here. You can also in some games, Lorenzo told me this, uh, you can replay your game, but you can not play as your character, but you can move around with the cameras. And that way you can create some cool cinematic shots. I'm not sure if that's possible in Call of Duty, um, not even in Warzone. And I also think it's not even possible on a PlayStation, which I game on. So yeah, um, since I can't do that, I need some cinematics. So I'm just taking the cinematics of the game itself. And I'm going to use them to highlight my um, gamer tag or maybe if I have like an insane kill death ratio I can also put it there maybe I can put some social media on there and be like hey follow me or something um, so yeah let's see what we have so far our game is starting we have a glitch towards the lobby bam I got a kill glitch here we go. Okay, and then we need some gameplay footage. So let's see. Do I actually go and kill that guy? I'm not even sure. It's already two or three days ago since I gamed or, or since I did this uh, gaming session. So uh, let's see. Am I going to kill that one? Nope. Okay, uh, but I know that I am going to kill someone right here. Okay, so let's take it from here maybe. From here, yes. This is the part where I'm going to kill him. Okay, I'm going to take this part right here, scale to frame size, find the part where I actually kill him. So that's this part right here. I'm going to take my killing thing and drag it on here. Okay, so bam, I killed someone. And this is actually a good visualization because sometimes, you know, 
it does says that I did an elimination and I killed that guy. But uh, for some viewers maybe that don't know the game, it can be like, hey, did did he kill him or what 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 exactly happened? Did the other guy just poof, vanish or did he do some magic tricks? So if you place like uh, a thing on here that says, hey, poof, each time this is on screen, we kill someone. That's also quite nice for the viewer to know. Okay, every time I see that red thing coming up, it's a kill. Bam. Okay, how can we even make this a little bit more dramatic? Well, my first shot here, we can uh, put the transform effect on here. Let's go to the effect controls and check this so that we get some motion blur. And I'm gonna position, scale, and rotation animate this. So I'm gonna make some keyframes for this. I'm gonna go one, two. Okay, so this is my first shot. I'm gonna zoom in maybe 108. Okay, I'm gonna reposition this in the center, but I think it's quite all right. I'm gonna rotate this like three. Then I'm gonna go one frame, minus three. One frame, one. One frame, minus one. One frame, zero. And here I'm gonna go back to 100 and I'm gonna reposition um, this as well. Let's see what this does. So it creates a little bit of an extra motion in there. Let's show it without this. So here it's just bam, bam. Okay, let's put it back on. Bam! It looks a little bit more intense and that's way cooler when we're making a video. So let's do that for every shot. Let's try and find the second shot. I switch my gun here, I think. Okay, I'm just gonna take all of these. Control C, Control V, let's see what that does. Okay, but this is quite a long, because I'm just beaming on that guy, I'm like you know, <laughs> so uh, this is this should be a bit longer. Let's see when do I actually stop spraying him? Oh, right here. Is it right here that I quit? Let's see those bullets. Okay, so this is the last bullet that goes out. So where are my keyframes? Okay, here they are. I need this one. I need this one. I need. The final one here. And I'm gonna drag these towards here. Let's see what this gives. Okay, so there's a small, as you can see here, movement going on still while I'm uh, going towards my kill. Bam, let's save this. I'm gonna drink from the G Fuel real quick because I'm quite thirsty and you know, I love the color so it's just, it's like yelling at me like, drink me, drink me. Uh, the taste, I'm not sure what this was. I think it was like tropical something something, I'm not sure. Hey Jill, what game are you editing right now? This is Call of Duty Warzone. How do we get access to the transition packs or presets? Well, you can just go to www.premierbasics.net uh, and there you can find the, um, I think it's called video packs. There you can find it. Hey, you live in Action Spirit and you think it's Mac MFC. You're welcome, man. You're welcome. Seems like you're not sleeping. Uh, do I look that tired? <laughs> yeah, my night was quite good actually. I, uh, yeah, I slept quite well. Maybe not that long, but I slept quite well. Who the hell dislikes? It's zero dislikes a few seconds ago. Yeah, man, internet trolls. Premiere 2020 not lagging. Interesting. Yeah, it's quite a good PC as well, and the footage isn't that heavy, uh, just like the effects. So, yeah, it's normal that it's not lagging currently. Uh, okay, let's see. Um, 
here I'm gonna turn make a transition back again because I actually don't like the fact that I'm just gonna go and look at the wall. <laughs> I'm not sure why I was looking at the wall suddenly, but I did. So yeah, I don't need that. Um, let's see, where can we transition to? I know that I was killed right here when I was walking up those stairs. Okay, and this is, <laughs> I'm not much of a good player. This is showing how much I really suck. Instead of actually taking my gun out and, you know, turning around and shooting at the guy who's shooting me, I just slide over and I don't take my other gun. No, I take my deployable cover, which doesn't do a thing unless it's actually deployed. So, and then, yeah, I just get killed. <laughs> Yeah, so that was just me. Uh, and then here in the Gulag, which is actually giving you a second chance, I also got killed, I think. Oh no, I didn't get killed. He just captured the flag before me. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna take the part where I got killed. Let's take a transition. So maybe, uh, where were our transitions here? Here they are. Let's put it on here. This is actually quite nice because there is like a movement in here from like, uh, I'm not sure what it is. Is it like the chromatic aberration, I think, that is going here? But it actually moves well because I just made a movement on the ladder. Um, so that that's like really fluent. Bam. And maybe... Maybe I can make something meme from this. Where was the guy? I don't even see him. Oh, here he is. <laughs> okay, um, maybe I can do like, I'm gonna place a cut so I can still have this part. Gonna Scroll this out, right click, and go for a add frame hold. I'm gonna take the black and white, put it on here. Then I'm gonna go back for the transform tool. And I'm just gonna zoom into wherever that guy was hiding. Whoops, what is happening? Okay. And maybe some vignetting. Let's close the essential graphics and let's open the Lumetri color. Where is it? Right here. Add some vignetting. Oh, of course, you won't see it because I'm zoomed in. So I first need to nest this. But maybe I'm not going to nest this. Maybe I'm going to actually do like this and I'm going to use a transform tool to zoom to that guy. Oh, I am also not going to go over 300. Otherwise, the PC is going to go really slow. If you're going to go over the value of 300 scaling in the transform effect, your PC is gonna go really super slow, so don't do that. Um, okay, guys, by the way, I also have a shortcut for the ease out and ease in. So, bam, those are eased out. Bam, those are eased in. Super easy, I place them on one and two on my keyboards right here. I'm gonna make this a little bit slower. So, what do we have? We have like. Oh shit, what's going on here? Drama effect, bam. That's often how gamers do it, I think. They're like, huh, what? And then maybe we can place like um, a question mark there. Let's enlarge the question mark. Can we take the anchor point? Yes, we can. Let's put it here. Let's enlarge it like this. Maybe a second one. 
we can place it somewhere here and let's make them pop up like this boom boom okay and then they have to go away at the end here good 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 let's save this uh Bro, you ever use the top button video extending blur? Still trying to find that right look. What do you mean exactly with the top and bottom video extending slash blur? What exactly do you mean? Is it like an effect that I don't know of? No, I don't don't know it. Let me, uh, can you explain a bit more what do you exactly mean? And then I can uh, try and figure it out. Your typing speed is much faster than my internet speed. <laughs> awesome. Show all of the videos again. The entire video here? Okay, let me show that. So this is what we have so far, guys. Got an intro. Of course, let me just pause this for, for a real second. Um, if I was shooting myself and I was actually talking, like for instance, during a streaming of this game session, this would be a really cool place, you know, to put my face in here and as we go further, maybe like switch it to over here or something, you know, a little bit of creativity with that can can do no harm. So, but I'm going to first show you what we've got so far. I'm actually thinking we don't need this part right here. We actually already have the thing right over here. So maybe we can just put this here and this here, you know? Uh, let's put it here maybe. Or maybe underneath the effect. Yeah, that's better. That's more dynamic. And here we go up to the next kill. Bam. Another kill. Transition. Wait, what? Huh? Bam! We get killed. I think this is already quite like we all already have like 24 seconds of footage. And already three things happen. No, actually four things. We started the game, we got our first kill in the lobby, we get a second kill during the game, and we got killed. That's what happened. Um let's go over here. Did I do another one? Oh yeah, I actually did another one on Rebirth Island as well. So maybe we can transition to that. Did I actually kill someone during this lobby? I'm not sure. No, I didn't. Okay, let's see. Did I actually do something here that was quite entertaining? I took a chopper. Maybe I killed someone with a chopper. Yep, I killed someone with the chopper. Okay, so I can do like this, take this right here. Once again, scale to frame size. And where is the kill? Yeah, he's actually down. He's not killed, but it's kind of the same. So we need our killing thing. It's this one, I think. Okay, so that's, bam, a kill, but it's not at the right moment. It should be here. Up, okay, there we go. Then we go up. Maybe we have another segment here where I actually kill someone. Oh, yeah, okay, this is the real kill. So we actually revived. Well, that's not a fun way to die. Let me tell you that. Actually, we're going to place that once again on here. Okay, let's see. Do we have another kill maybe? Or maybe I get killed. Not entirely sure. Let's say this first. Let's see what you guys are saying. I love the new channel design. Thanks, man. 
I'm guessing you're Dutch based on your accent. Yes, I am from Belgium. Which university you which university did you go to if you even went to one learning editing? Is it worth it and difficult for someone with zero prior knowledge in the skill? Well, I went to Narafi, which is a film school in Brussels. Uh, Jordi went there as well. Uh, a couple of years before me. He finished it. I didn't because I started my own company while I was studying. So I quickly realized that I learned more more while doing it for clients than sitting on the, you know, sitting in school and just people telling me how it's done. It's not the same as actually going to do that and making mistakes and learning from your mistakes. Um, then I went over to another school, another uh, kind of university, but it's not really university. It's called high school in Belgium. Um, and what I did there was like multimedia and communication technology, which uh, was actually the same school as Lorenzo went to because we actually were in the same class for three years. He finished it. I didn't because, you know, I still had my company. So I quit because I was actually um, getting too much clients and therefore I couldn't go to school anymore. So I made the decision to go to school, uh, to uh, um, quit school and start doing my job more often instead of going to school. So I actually have no uh, higher diploma for university or college or whatever. Um, college, that wasn't even, not high school, it's college, sorry. Um, so yeah, but that's what I did. Can I recommend it? Yes, especially if you, if you have zero prior knowledge to it. Um, but nowadays you can actually learn a lot from a young age on, you know, YouTube, Skillshare, what else is there? Um, LinkedIn Learning, Udemy, Masterclass, there are so much platforms that can teach you how to uh, properly edit and shoot videos. But of course, I would also say, just do it. Start editing, start shooting, start um, creating stuff. And that's how you get better at it and get a job from it. The transition reminds me of data meshing. Yes, indeed. Put in, oh, sounds. Oh yeah, I, I will put the sounds in later. Um, how much do the presets cost? Well, I think they have different prices. Some of them are for free. Others are maybe paid. I'm not sure what the exact prices are. I started learning Premiere a month ago and I've learned so much from Cinecom. That's awesome to read, man. Thanks. Jill, the hacker man, killer of Warzone. <laughs> Thanks, Bellum Video. Wait, what shortcut did you close the gap between the clips? Uh, wait, which was it? Um, do you mean like if I put this, if I do that, if it's that what you mean that I just select this, it's actually just ripple delete, I just delete this. Um, if for instance, I make a cut, I use Q to edit or cut everything in front of my playhead and uh, W to cut everything behind my playhead. Uh, let's see. Um, you can add you during live stream when editing tutorial. Yeah, that's true, that's true, but uh, that would be a little bit weird. Um. If, if, by the way, you guys have some other questions about shortcuts that I use, just uh, yell at me. <laughs> or not yelling, but like comment it. Van waar zei je als ik vragen mag? I'm from Limburg in Belgium. Near, uh, I live near Hasselt. Let's see. Do nanny meme. What's the nanny meme? I'm gonna look it up. Nanny meme. Let's have a listen to it. Is that the nanny meme? Oh, nanny. It's like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe I can put it there. <laughs> it's actually, I, did, I didn't know the meme. Uh, let's see if I can download this. Uh, do I have... Oh, here it is, uh, 4K. Normally guys, you can't download from YouTube, but since it's just a meme, everyone uses it, I'm gonna download it. Oh, am 
that in later. Um, show in folder. Where is it? Okay, so Nani. Wait, uh, let's go to here. Nani. Okay, so this is the part where he yells Nani. And that's. I, I have to put this right here, right? So it's like this. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Um, what else are you guys saying? Oh, yeah, to fill the gap. Yeah, shift delete indeed. Uh, it's a ripple delete tool. That was cool because too many clients suffering from success. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, hey there, I recently started working for a gaming YouTuber. The session will definitely help me to create a montage. Thank you for doing this. You're welcome, man. You're welcome. That's what I meant. Okay, awesome. How to make smooth cuts between two videos? Jorin Jen, St. Lucas. Oh, yeah, well, uh, I think um, Narafi is now. Uh, like rebranded toward Luca Arts or Luca School of Arts. And I actually also went to St. Lucas when I was younger, but it was in Brussels, uh, like the high school. Which extensions do you use for user use for Premiere Pro? That's actually a good question. And guys, um, I've actually partnered up with someone. I think he's also watching. His name is Camille. And he actually made some really cool extensions. Let me show them to you guys. So if we go over to the window menu here, we can find extensions. And I've got some here like the Drag Zoom Pro, Mask to Transform, and the Stop Motion Convert. Now, um, actually, you guys can get those through a link. Let me give you that link real quick. Let's find where I put the link. Uh, login. Let's see. I actually made a link for it. <laughs> where is it? Oh, here it is. Uh, can I copy this? Yes, here is the link. So, which languages do you speak? I speak Dutch or Flemish, uh, English, a little bit of French, and a little, little bit of German. And I could speak a little bit of Spanish and Italian because I studied Latin when I was younger. But now, uh, yeah, it kind of got blurry. So. I can understand it better than I can speak it. By the way, guys, this is a link. If you click on that, you can get the plugins or extensions yourself. Um, I haven't played around with them a lot, but I, I saw some videos from it, and it's actually really cool. Maybe we can actually use a drag zoom pro effect on this right here, because maybe we can zoom into this part. Now, the drag zoom pro extension is actually really cool because, oh, it's actually opening here. This is what it looks like. Uh, can you guys see it? Let's see. Yeah, you guys can see it. Um, I'm gonna go here. So, the, so it's actually just super easy. There is a help function right here. It says what you need to do. This is by the way, uh, the, the guy's name It's Camille Pekala, I think this is uh, his YouTube channel. He also has like a super simple tutorial on here. So you just drag and zoom and then it just applies it. So let's see. Hold space to move the box, press escape to or let go to apply. Super easy. So we're going to go over to drag and zoom. Let's see. I want to zoom here. So let's uh oh, wait, what was it? I actually forgot what it was. Was it Hold space, okay. But first we need to refresh. I'm gonna find the right frame. Refresh. Then we get this section right here. Awesome. And wait, wait, wait. Oh, whoops. I want to enlarge this first. Here we go. Okay. So hold space to move the box. Wait, I think I have to undo everything. I made a few too much clicks. I'm going to clear this. <laughs> Let's go back here. OK, 
Camille, if you're watching, help me out. <laughs> I haven't played a lot uh, with this effect, so... Uh, oh, so which transition? Maybe, like, put it to uh, five seconds. Let's go back here and refresh. So let's put it here. Oh, and here we can change a thing as well. So I don't want it to scale. Let's do 300%. And then we have to clear everything from here. Refresh. What's going on? Oh, okay. I think it worked. Let's see what it does. Transform cannot allocate a buffer longer than 30,000 pixels. What is going on, Premiere? Okay. So now it's going well. Uh, so wait, I don't want. This one, this one should be cleared. I'm gonna clear everything once again. So let's just close it up. Uh, why is it? Here we go. Now it will work. Extensions, Drag Zoom Pro. I can even put it in here. Maybe let's put it up here. Yes. Set the playhead where you want to perform the zoom. I want to perform it right here and then hit refresh. I want the zoom to be here. Okay. And normally it should, whoa, what's going on? Let me close this panel. Normally it should, oh, it's going to 600. Oh, let's change that to 300. That's why it's, hmm. okay, let's clear this. Oh yeah, it's like, uh, okay, you have to delete the entire transform effect, okay. But I can just apply it manually here as well, you know. So as you can see, um, what this actually does is it applies a transform effect, just like we did before. And you also made motion blur, as you can see right here. Now, this zooms, but I'm actually gonna move it right here. What is going on? Let's try a uniform scale. Okay, so, oh, it could be that our, let's do it again. Our adjustment layer is maybe interacting with it as well, which causes a bit of problems. Uh, where was it? Extension, drag, zoom pro. Let's drag it out of here. Undock, here we go. So let's see. We can't hear the desktop audio. Oh, I will turn it on in just a bit. Uh, let's refresh. Okay, and what are the settings? Oh, at markers. That's and that's something interesting. Let's ease them in and ease them out. Oh, so here we can actually play around with the motion blur. That's nice. Snap zoom to the nearest. When drawing the rectangle, zoom value snaps to the nearest. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna hit delete this one, clear this one, and refresh back again. Let's 
Let's see. Oh, oh, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I'm actually applying it two times, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's what I'm actually doing. Isn't it just apply it right now? Because I see the markers right here. Camille, if you're watching, help me out, man. <laughs> oh, Kevin, you're watching as well. More importantly, did we win that match? Well, no, not this one, because th this one wasn't uh, with you in it. This one was the one where I played solo. Okay, maybe we can try and do that um, extension further in the gameplay. Let's first go back here. Oh, I actually duplicated that one. So we killed that guy. Let's try and look for the... Because I actually think I didn't actually uh, live quite a long time in that solo mode. No, as you can see, I died quite early on. I played another one. Oh, I think I got a nice kill here, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh, yeah, I got killed. <laughs> I got killed there. Uh, let's see. Did I actually do something here? Nope. Okay. Let's try and find the game with my friends in it. Uh, is it this one? Let's see. Who do we have here? Nathan, Arno, and some random guy. Do we also have the one with Kevin in it? Let's see. Thunder Tiger, Nathan. Oh, but we, okay. We, okay. Never mind. Uh, let's take this one. So I was playing around with my friends here, also on Rebirth Islands. But I know that there was one game that we did where I killed someone with a chopper, but like, or maybe I didn't kill them. I'm not sure, but I did something really cool with a chopper. I'm always the guy who just uh, goes around and kills the enemies from behind, or I use a chopper to save my friends. I'm not the one who gets the most kills anyway, but I don't mind that. Okay, so what is going on here? Did I actually kill no one? What did it say here? Zero, zero? Okay. That's a nice thing. I actually have this uh, watch on my character which indicates how many times I got killed and how much or how many times I killed someone. So yeah, <laughs> that's nice to keep track of. Oh, I actually killed someone here. Okay, that's actually a nice shot. And he's actually not killed here. He's killed right here. So let's take our red kill. Bam. Is there like, guys, do you know like a meme where it says like, hello, or, you know, something that that matches this scene right here. Like, I'm standing behind the door because, yeah, I'm quite a camper. I must admit, this guy is just walking. He's like, huh? And I'm like, kickaboo. And just spraying my gun all over him. Is there like a meme for that? I, I don't know much about memes, so tell me, guys. Is there like a meme for this? Maybe use the goat scream effect on that helicopter chopper. What's the goat scream? Is that the one from the Taylor Swift videos where it goes like, ah? Is it that one? I'm not familiar with memes, guys. <laughs> Let's see, what else are you guys saying? There are many memes, especially SpongeBob time cards. Uh, oh yeah, like uh, two hours later. Yes, that, that's something that we can use as well. Uh, well, where is everything always? Are you making gaming montage or what is the type of video that you're doing? Yes, I'm making a gaming montage of my gameplay of Call of Duty Warzone. This is the first time you're seeing this. Awesome, man. What is the point of the gaming video? Just, um, I ha some highlights of my 
gaming session and just you know some fun effects that we put on top of it um, to enhance the gameplay or the video that you're creating of your gameplay so making transitions extra effects to you know make something funny or or you know enhance the killing part like for instance here every time you see the red thing I kill someone maybe we can make something here um sound effect surprise oh yeah I know the one from a surprise mother and there's also oh yeah isn't it like the kid like the kid saying like hello mother you know the rest Shrek hello there oh hello there that reminds me of Obi-Wan Kenobi you know when he sees General Grievous and he's like hello there I'm gonna take that one because I'm such an Obi-Wan Kenobi fan or Star Wars fan Obi-Wan Kenobi hello there let's listen to it That's the one I need. Hello there. FBI open up is good to... FBI open up. Yeah. You guys are on a roll. Let me look for that. Uh, I'm first going to download FBI open up sounds. Oh, that's the one. Yeah, <laughs> I know which one it is. Okay, I'm going to download that one as well. Okay, let's see what we can do. Uh, oh yeah, of course, I need to open the folder, which is here. I'm gonna take the FBI one. It's just sounds, doesn't matter. Let's see, maybe we can place this here. Let's see, is there much of a beginning? Oh yeah. <laughs> I like the fact that there's like a, an explosion going on here. Let's make it a little bit longer. Okay, I'm gonna put the sound on for you guys as well. So it's the desktop audio right here. Let's see, can you guys hear this? FBI, open up! FBI, open up! Let me know if you guys can hear this. I'm gonna take the hello there as well. I think it was here, yeah. Q. Hello there. Don't want the electric sounds. <laughs> Hello there. Hello. Hello there. Hello there. Okay, let's apply this. Hello there. Okay, nice. So we need a little bit of music for it, I think. What do you guys think? We can hear it, clear it sounds. So funny. <laughs> okay, let's see, let's see what we got. So we've got the nanny here. Nani? Oh, you wanted the goat sound here, right? Um, do we have like a goat meme? I got the goat. Let's place it here. Doesn't matter which quality, I just want the audio. Don't want to get copyrighted. That's it, right? <laughs> That's the goat that you were looking for. Let's see. Maybe right before the kill. And once again, right here. It's 
just a frame too long, I think. Yes, same here. One frame too long. Maybe we can add another shake here as well. So let's um, put the transform effect on there. I'm gonna rub my eye real quick. Oh, sorry guys. Let's put the transform effect on here. Go to the effect controls and let's scale it. Maybe I go 108. Okay, then we can Rotate it like maybe minus five. Oh, that's too much. Minus four, not too much. Minus three, uh, too much. Okay, let's go to 120. Let's do minus eight. No, minus six. Yes, that's good. Two, six, one, two. Let's go to minus four, one, two. Let's go to four, one, two. Let's go to minus two, one, two. Let's go to two, one, two. Minus one, 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 uh, one, two, let's do one, one, two, and then the door is opened. And that wasn't really necessary. And I wanted to zoom out a bit. Let's do small zooming here. When this guy comes in, I'm actually going to manual track it. Uh, I've actually made a tutorial about that, but I'm going to try and do it real, real, real quick. So I'm going to zoom it in 150%. Uh, that's not enough, unfortunately. Uh, let's do 250. Okay. Then here we can go back here because we were gonna spray that guy. Let's see what this gives. Hello there. Oh, so we're gonna have to play around with this. FBI, open up. Hello there. That's going really fast. Hmm. Let's see if we can delete these. Hello there. Oh, what's going on here? Okay, and then it has to go back here. Okay. FBI, open up! Hello there. Open up! Open up! Hello there. Nah, I don't like this. Hello? Open up! Hello there. I'm gonna leave it like this. FBI. So I did um put a ginormous shake at the beginning. FBI, open up! Hello there. And I put it like this, okay. So sometimes you play around with stuff, but in the end it's maybe better to not play some effects on there. Uh because otherwise it can get like really messed up. Uh, also because when I point my gun towards him, it automatically zooms. So if it zooms in while I'm zooming out, it's a little bit weird. Uh, so yeah, let's not do that. Let's see what you guys are saying right here. Uh, oh, 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 hi, Mark. That's also a good meme. I know that one as well. I don't think you should put multiple memes in one clip. Probably add frame hold to the FBI open up. And I made the same type of videos on my channel. Not a shout out, but you could see some ideas. That's a good idea. So not too many memes here. So not put the hello there right here. Okay. Let's keep the hello there for another time, maybe. That's actually not a not a bad idea. Maybe let's put in a top layer here. Okay. 
Okay, so let's see. Let's uh, go a little bit further in time here. I've probably did another kill here somewhere. No. That's the one that I killed earlier. It was aiming here. It was aiming there. Hit, but not a kill. I don't know if it's the gun that's not that good or if it's just me that really sucks. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, oh, do I actually see that guy or no, probably not? Oh, I know which game this is. Yeah, so I was running up the street here, and then there was a guy standing here, and he killed me. I know what's gonna happen here. Tagging aid station location. Just oh, another kill. I can use this one. Here I can put the hello air. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Hello there. Okay, okay. Do you actually like the audio of this? Like, I can put this underneath here. And then here, I put the red thing. You like it more when I put the audio from the game underneath? I think it's quite nice. Okay, let's see. Um, when you do, when you die by the nani, have some upbeat music and then add a vintage tape stop sound effects. Oh, yeah, I, that's a good idea. The uh, vintage like, crick, like when you're playing on a uh, what's it called record player and you just stop it. But the sound of the lightsaber, maybe when you kill the guy, like you mean that sound? Sync the opening door sound in FBI. Open up with the door in game. FBI, open up! FBI, open up! FBI, open up! FBI, open up! Isn't it? FBI, open up! It's kind of on the beat, right? Or do you mean the exact, um, you know, sound of this, like we did here? Do you mean, is that what you mean? Yeah, there is a need of slow down or freeze frame with some zoom. I think if there was in-game sound, it would sound better. Currently, it sounds kind of dead. Who wants laser beam green screen in the stream? <laughs> laser beam green screen in the screen in the stream. Man, <laughs> that's a lot of in sounds. Why you most must make the shake effect frame by frame? Do you don't have shake effect on your Premiere Pro? Uh, I prefer to do it frame by frame uh, because I have more control over it. Frame hold it, maybe a frame hold for the heal loader. Oh yeah, okay. So like... Uh, maybe here? Let's do it like this. I actually have a, a short key for my frame holds. Bam, that way I can easily get a frame hold. Maybe I can zoom this in. Like. Maybe even more. Like 
this. Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. Okay, I kind of like this already. Uh, so normally, of course, we should get some music and put it underneath so that we can edit to the beat, of course. But let's see what we already have. I've got my gamer tag. We've got a transition. Kill. An extra shake. We're going to spray this guy. And kill. Transition. Then we're like... Nani? Nani? Killed. Okay, this would indeed be better if we got the audio in game. Okay, let's see if we can find some more moments to highlight. Oh yeah, this is the part where I get killed. Look at the guy, he's just standing there. I didn't even see him. So, maybe you guys, that's the thing. When you play on a PlayStation, you don't have a lot of, uh, what's it called, depth of field. I think it's called in-game. So like uh, the PC gamers, they see like almost 180 degrees or maybe like even more. I don't. So each time that that one of my friends is dead, like for instance now this guy here, Arno, he was dead. So he's probably watching along with me. He always have to yell at me like, there is an enemy on your left, there's an enemy on your, on your right because I don't see the guys. I just see this, you know? Like, maybe we can, uh, let, let's see the difference be between one of them. Can we see it actually from here? Or is it just on the monitor itself? You see, that's just a whole lot wider. It's like they put a kind of fish eye on there, like a fish eye lens. If I go back over to my thing, it's like... I'm shooting with a telescope or something. You know, it's so zoomed in. I don't like it. Uh, yeah, that's the part where Nathan dies. Did I actually kill this guy or was I just playing with him? Oh no, I was just playing with him. Now you see what I do when I play games. <laughs> I just play around with dead buddies. Okay, but let's try and find my thing that I did with the. Cho oh, did I ha have another chopper kill right here? Yep, I did. Don't hate me for this, guys, but I like to kill people with choppers. Let's see. Um, field of view, that's what it's called. Thanks, man. Field of view. I think when you're dead, the, the man is going to be like, hello there. Yeah, probably the guy at the end of the street. You can add game audio after FBI. Okay, let's see. Can we um, find the original of this? Where is it? Uh, I think I'm looking over it. Reveal in project. Yes. We actually find back the part where it did this. It's like 453. Okay, 453. Come 
mine. Actually, also, I think I hear someone having like a, what's it called? A, 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 a kill mic or what's it called? Whenever you kill someone and he yells at something in his mic. I like it. I like it. <laughs> if you if you watch this video, it looks like I'm a super good gamer. But let me tell you, I'm not. <laughs> As you can see, I mostly kill people with uh with uh helicopters. I am under fire. Head in this way. Oh, what's this guy right here? I think he killed me. Yeah, he killed me, but I didn't even see the guy. Okay, so my friend revived me and apparently I'm not doing anything at all. I was probably on my cell phone. Let's see, am I gonna kill someone? <laughs> we actually get killed here. <laughs> we really suck. <laughs> or I really suck at this game. Maybe we can get it here. Freeze frame it. Oh, Alt click, delete this part. Um, let's see. What's the resolution of your timeline as video footage? Oh, of course, I didn't think about that, Camille. Um, my timeline is 4K, and my footage is like. I think 720p or something. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Properties. It is 720p. So maybe that was a problem of the extension not working. Sorry, maybe I should have nested it. Uh, let's see. What else can we do? Here? can also put the kill cam here. Hmm, no, we're not gonna do that. I want something funny with this. What can we do with an explosion? Gonna look at the time real quick. Oh, is it that late already? Oh, okay. Um, we're gonna. Okay, we're gonna do maybe one more thing. I'm gonna look for the awesome thing I did in a chopper. Oh yeah, <laughs> also kill this guy right here. You gave him a proper sword. Uh, And then I'm gonna rev it up, guys, because we've been doing this for an hour and a half already. Gave him a proper sword. Stand by. 
let's just leave this as it is. Maybe we can do another transition first. Oh, yes. Oh. Okay, so let's put another transition here. I don't need this. I don't need... Well, I could have maybe used the vignetting. That's quite nice. Let's go to effects, presets. Let's head over to our glitches. Jump cut distortion. Let's take that one. That's a nice one. Crying noises with hello <laughs> fart noise or something. <laughs> oh yeah, or the one with the this is the moment he knew he up yeah. This thing wouldn't help indeed. Uh, would help indeed. I always set the frame size, not scale the frame size myself. Oh yeah, that's something that I can try and do as well. You forgot the Jordy Le replay. Oh, let's do. Well, I'm gonna look for my chopper thingy real quick. If I can't find it, I'm just gonna go for the um, gameplay of Jordy. I'm not sure where exactly. I always go for choppers, but uh, let's see. I got a chopper. Oh, is it this one maybe? Because I know that I had a cluster strike. I think it's this one. I'm not entirely sure. Oh yeah, yeah, this is the one, this is the one. Look at this guys, look at this. So unfortunately, I kind of miscalculated and I flew against the water tower, but look at this action. I'm just switching positions, performing a cluster strike. But yeah, if I had like a, a keyboard, I would do, I would have done like... Ding, 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 ding. But unfortunately, I got my uh, game controller, <laughs> which uh, isn't going as fast as I wanted to go, but uh, yeah. Okay, let's put this on top of here. Mm. This would be like a moment where I put like, woohoo, and then like, oh crap, you know, something like that. Okay, um, so that was my insane chopper action. <laughs> okay, let's go for Jordy's gameplay real quick, and then uh, I'm gonna wrap it up, guys. I think this is actually uh, in better resolution. Yeah, kind of, yeah, almost HD. What kind of weird size is that? Okay, doesn't matter. Jordy dies. Did he actually kill people? That's the question. His colors look better though, there's more contrast in it. Hold out, drop headed your way. Okay, he's still alive, that's a good thing. Oh, did he kill someone? He didn't even aim. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, that's one way to do it, Jordy. Okay, guys, um, let's put it back to me right here. Okay, five more. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit, here we go again. That's a nice one. Okay, guys, uh, let's do... Jordy plays on a PC? Yes, he does. Let's do five questions, and then I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna wrap up the live stream. Gonna save this because I actually quite enjoyed this video. Um, 
So I hope you guys kind of learned from it. Also, check out our website uh, if you want to download some amazing video packs and if you want to have access to our Skillshare classes real fast, you can all find it on our website. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram as well. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and put on the post notifications because Wednesday is gonna be a new tutorial and it's gonna be about the Now You See Me Too a movie where the where they throw a card and it flies in the air of course i didn't make it in 3d i also didn't use after effects for it it's all done in premiere pro and uh, we've got a lovely sponsor waiting for us on wednesday who actually also provided stuff that we can use for that um so yeah you can add everyone joins the battle meme i don't know that meme i'll have to look it up it's getting quite chilly here as well, guys. So I'm gonna put on my uh, my sweater real quick. But uh, okay, drop five questions in the comments. I'll answer them right away. And then we can wrap this up. Thank you a lot, Chill. You're welcome, man. Um, Riza2, what was your question? If you can send it again, because I don't want to scroll back again. Ugh, let's see. Uh, Jurassic Park, guys. Jurassic Park. Oh, this is better. How much does the preset cost? I think um, for just a personal use license, it's free to use the glitch transitions. But if you wanted to use it for commercial use and you have to pay, I think, a small fee, but I'm not entirely sure um, how much that is. Is the chat going crazy? Because I'm watching the uh, OBS live stream here and I see the chat going like ding, 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 ding. So I'm not sure, uh, yeah, if that's from, from now or if it's just not following OP t shirt. <laughs> Please don't go around shooter games anymore. It hurts. Just continue creative editing. I will, man. I will. It was just because a lot of people asked for. Uh, uh, gaming video, so that's why I uh, wanted to do a, a live stream about it. Clips VE. <laughs> thanks, man. Thanks for the support. It's the final minute of this live stream, but thank you so much, Clips VE, for the donation. Thank you for the support. What is the best best DSLR camera for video? Doesn't really matter, actually. Any camera you can have, even if it's your phone, if it can't film, then you can create super amazing stuff with it. You can color grade this however you want. You can put effects on there. You can do a lot of stuff with just your phone. So yeah, use whatever you have available. Thank you, Jill, for this amazing live stream. You're welcome. You didn't taught. You didn't teach us music bullet sync. Yeah, man. Sorry for that. Um, just find a music with a good beat like for instance boom -tsh, boom -tsh, boom -tsh, and cut your footage um, so that every time there is like a beat or like a drum or like something that is going you can see in your waveforms and put your gunshot there so you can also enhance the gunshots like we did with the transform effect putting some rotation things on there um, wow the chat is going crazy here in OBS um let's see let's see what's the definition of commercial i'm not entirely sure but there's like a readme attached to the um transitions and effects and plugins and whatever so uh read that and then you know if you can use it or not which is your favorite game um currently call of duty warzone it's the only thing that i kind of play uh mostly with my best friends and just back from school awesome man so yeah that's uh, kind of the only thing that we play um we started playing um when corona started happening here in belgium so um the coronavirus broke out here in belgium everyone had to go in quarantine we couldn't go to work anymore or not as often as possible we had to stay home and we were looking for something to connect with each other because they live on the other side of belgium they live in west flandre I live in Limburg, which is on the other side. Um, so we couldn't see each other often, and that's why we tried to find some that, something that we could play together. And then on Discord, we open up our chats or our voice chats, and then we just talk to each other. We make jokes. We talk about our days, about um, uh, you know what we, what we just ate or what we we're about to go eat, what we did that day, what we were gonna do the next week. Stuff like that. So um, yeah, it's always super funny. It's always super nice. 
and it's a nice way to keep in touch with each other and enjoy a little bit of you know uh, gaming time. Do you guys have an After Effects advanced tutorial on Skillshare? Uh, no, not yet, not yet. The stream was really helpful. Thank you a lot. You're welcome, man. You're welcome. Do you play Fortnite? No. Thanks for the stream, man. Really enjoyed. You're welcome, man. You're welcome. Rocket League. Ah, not my thing, man. Not my thing. Oh, Jonah. Jonah is also joining us a lot during our Warzone plays. Um, so shout out to Jonah. He's actually really good at it, uh, in my opinion. And I actually thought he was like super old, but the guy's like 16, so awesome. Um, what is your loadout in Warzone? Well, I always start with a Ghost load loadout with the Mac 10 and I think the Diamati or something. And then I always switch to a second loadout, which ha is actually my Killer Claws, or that's how I call it. And it has the Kilo uh, attached to it with a 100 round drum mag. Um, it has almost no recoil uh, the way I made it. And my second weapon is a MP5, but I often switch that back to my Mac 10. And I use flash grenades, I think. And what else do I use? Uh, Semtex. That's my loadout. <laughs> I got all my editing skills from here. Thanks, man. Will you continue to the edit in the next live stream? No, but if you guys want, I can always try and finish the, the things that I create during these live streams and post them somewhere. I'm actually thinking about maybe posting them or each of the results of the live streams somewhere on either Instagram or on the YouTube community page or I'm not entirely sure yet. Um, maybe if you guys have some ideas, let them know in the comment section, uh, not specifically in the live chat on here, but just in a regular comment section. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. Like I did the stream. You're welcome, man. You're welcome. Okay, guys, so that was it for today. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Also, um, if you haven't seen it at the beginning of this um, live stream and also uh, at the end in a couple of moments, um, you will see our newest uh, intro that I made. If you like it, leave it in the comments down below. If you don't, then also put it in the comments down below because I want your guys' feedback because um, if uh, you like it, I'm going to use it from now on. Also, we have a brand new logo. Uh, we also updated the header on YouTube. Um, so yeah, um, what else is there to say? Follow us on Instagram at Premier Basics. And yeah, let's see each other on Wednesday for our new tutorial. If you guys wanna play Warzone with me, you can add me. My, B uh, my name is bboymarvel99. Uh, I'll leave it in the comments real quick. So add me on Warzone, it's B Boy Marvel 99. Here you go, play along with me sometimes. Uh, I'm not sure when I'm gonna be online, but if I am online, invite me to a game. Maybe we can join. Um, <laughs> thanks, Clips VE, for shouting me out on my uh, personal Instagram and YouTube. Uh, yeah, that was it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I did. I actually think that we made a really nice uh, video. It was like a minute long, but it had lots of effect in there. So yeah, hope to see you guys next week for a new live stream. And of course, Wednesday for our newest tutorial. And as always, stay creative.